we'll be ready to go in just a few minutes. Excellent. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you, recruits. The end of the ship was so instructive. Good luck. Have a great day. I know it's been a long day. Did you guys get to ride the Pelican? Yeah. He did. I was working. Yeah. Okay. So, see, this is nothing like that. It's easy. It's uneventful. Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever happens. You're going to be going in. That's a lie. Ship and gathering intel for the intelligence. All you're doing is taking some pictures, walking through, seeing what's around. Nothing. Someone's going to jump out. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> no, it never happens. Nothing ever happens. It's safe. <laughs> There's no oxygen that like, happens over in the cockpit. <laughs> running out of oxygen, burning up in the atmosphere. An alien AI taking over the intel. No, that, that, that nothing ever happens. My tan not coming back from the store. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> but just in case something theoretically happens. Oh boy, here we go. Gabriella will be there. Me and you. Taking you through, and in fact, I'm gonna bring in one of my astute ensigns to push you through. So this is Ensign Brown. She's gonna take you through, just in case, theoretically, anything ever happens, but it's not gonna happen. You guys are gonna be able to go in when that light turns green and enjoy being the first on the Covenant ship, the first floor of this. The first one. That last one. First yeah. one. On an alien ship. So as soon as that light turns green, she'll take you through, you guys go in, get it done, and then have an uneventful, relaxing final <laughs> attack. Alright? Recruits, welcome aboard Suffocation of Purity. This is the actual interior of a Covenant ship, and today, it will be the site of an extremely rare and advanced training procedure. There's still going to be a leak pop now. For this exercise, imagine the following scenario. You have just boarded this enemy vessel, and the ship's command has initiated lockdown protocol. Yeah. Why aren't you standing the right there? have isolated you in this corridor, and are now sending a hunter-killer uh, squad to eliminate you and your team. That's the situation. Too. Yeah. Ready to get started? The end of the sea Let's begin. <laughs> You're sitting ducks in here. Your first goal is to escape this corridor. Like a UNSC ship, there are various maintenance access areas along the bulkhead wall of this vessel. These are not visually obvious, but you can locate them by touch. Try running your hands along the wall, about chest height off the deck. You should find a wall section that slides very easily. Good. Notice the vertical cables inside. There are three sets of two, and each set has a series of dial switches. These cables funnel power throughout the entire Covenant ship. But if reconfigured properly, the system will trigger a localized short and interrupt the lockdown in your area. Or, to put it another way, you're going to trick the door into opening. See what you can do. Good. Make it red? I guess you know. Yeah. Uh, make it red? Do we make it red? Okay. Alright. Okay, we got ours. Oh. Red is. primary language. Oh, These man. glyphs are about to flash in a particular sequence across the wheel. When the sequence completes, you'll have a few moments to repeat the sequence you just saw oh, by pressing the correct symbols in the correct order. Pay attention. Pay attention. 
session. It starts now. All right. from the internal sensor grid, so I could cut out at any minute. See those energy core cylinders around the room? Yep. They'll disconnect the intelligence long enough for me to open you an exit. You need to gather up the energy cores right now. Do that by rotating the... Oh, Let me see what I can do. Aha! Excellent! 
back online. Okay, if you've removed the energy cores, then we need to move to the next step now. I discovered that this thing is an autonomous security protocol subroutine. I've never encountered anything like it before, so I'm gathering as much intel as I can. This thing is still putting up one heck of a fight. We need to move fast. Okay, team, I've neutralized the subroutine and made a record of it for future research. That's the good news. The bad news is that it looks like there's going to be another explosion. A big one this time. One that cannot be contained in this chamber alone. Before I could stop it, the subroutine initiated a self-destruct order that will overload the power conduits at the base of the entire structure. If you don't stop that from happening, all of our post-discovery will be vaporized. That's never a Double time, recruits. Triple. I need you to find two covenant key cards in your immediate location. They will be small, flat objects that the covenant used to access the subsystems in this compartment. The grunts typically store them nearby. We must find these cards. Everyone needs to be looking. Yep. Alright, one more. Alright, we need to like a spectacular one. It's going to require two key cards used simultaneously to shut down the overload. Well, class, I am impressed. Job extremely well done. Not that I want to make this a habit or anything. If I'm ever trapped on the covenant ship again, I know who I want on my team. In all seriousness, thank you. Please accept my apologies for this mess and my deepest gratitude for your brilliant work. Consider your training exercise past and completed with flying colors. Not all days with the UNSC will be like this one. There will be times where the galaxy takes us by surprise. But that's when we discover who we really are. And today, you are heroes. Dismissed, recruits. All right, we're fighting for good time. I hope you guys enjoyed my run through of the Covenant Escape Room at Halo Outpost Discovery. Overall, this whole event was an amazing experience. I'm so happy I got to go with my friends, Redshirt98 and Alpha to Zeta Industries. Thank you guys so much for letting me tag along with you. And just as a heads up for you guys watching, my next video is going to be about me expressing how my whole experience went with the whole event and what I think was outstanding and what I think should be fixed a little bit. And, and I can't wait to talk about that with you guys. And after that, we'll head back to Halo Airsoft stuff, like weapon conversions and how to make EVA foam airsoft proof. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved. I'll see you next time.